So on the workbench today, uh, we have a new guitar in for uh, some repairs. As far as we know, it's nothing too major, but we'll see. And the guitar in question is a Furch. It's a F U R C H D twenty four, I think, I believe it is. And uh, according to the owner, it's just not playing well. And just at a glance, the action does look very high in it, and the uh, bridge pins aren't really seated properly and um, so we'll get in a bit closer now and have a proper look and see what needs to be done so just give me a, a better look uh, from the headstock we've got the first logo our tuners are not uh, so we've got some nice small little uh, abalone style inlays and uh, got some nice binding and purfling all around the side a very nice uh, sound hole rosé and you see our maker's mark there. It's a Furch Guitars since 1981. These guitars are handmade in the Czech Republic, or what was the Czech Republic, Chechenia. Um, it's a Sitka spruce top, and it's a Indian rosewood uh, back and sides, which is rather, rather attractive. Quite a, quite a good looking guitar we have here. Uh, this is left handed as well, so... Um, we can give her a bit of a play as well when we're done and as we're saying the issue seems to be string action it might be kinda hard to tell but the strings are sitting really high up off the fretboard and um, we'll just try and take it in close and show you a measurement and we'll see how far off it actually is but as I said gorgeous looking guitar left handed uh, handmade guitar from uh, Cheche and we'll just get in for a closer look at uh, the air string height measurement and see how far we're off so we're just looking at the 12th fret here and you can see how far off we are how high the string action is and just using their ruler here and um, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle but we're right at the top of the scale we're showing three and a half millimeters for string action we really need to be about uh, you can't even see it with this uh, at least a millimeter lower at about two and a half mil so we're off by at least a millimetre or so and probably impossible to see on the far side but it's the same again, it's hovering around the three and a quarter, three and a half and it needs to be right down at about two millimetres or so on the treble side so we'll just take you back out here and we'll see what the problem may be so just to clarify, when we say problem um, having the action that high isn't a problem for some people, they do like it that high uh, if they strum really hard and that they prefer a higher action that they can really get stuck in but for general use kind of we prefer a much more medium action so we will be taking things down slightly and so what we'll do is we're going to be taking off the uh, saddle here and we're just going to shave the bottom of it by a minuscule amount and just put it back in and that should take our strings down a good bit right to the uh, levels that we need but we'll just be taking it very slowly and taking very small shavings off just until we get it to the exact uh, amount we want and um, we'll just be doing some other uh, things while we're doing that as well we'll give the frets a quick clean and that we'll oil the fretboard and that um, and we'll do our various other checks we'll check the string action at the nut we'll check the neck relief as well and just give the guitar a complete once over so we're just taking the strings off now and uh, then as we said we'll come back to uh, taking off the bridge saddle and uh, shaving that now. So with our strings off we can make out the uh, date of construction there, our serial number and our model number. Just to confirm what we were saying earlier. So now that we've got our strings off, uh, this is our bridge saddle. This should hopefully just uh, pull out or pop out without too much force. And it seems to be coming easily enough. So this is what we're going to be working on and it's just on the bottom here we're just going to shave off as we said a very small amount and we've got our piezo pickup just in, uh, in the saddle groove there so we want to make sure we're not touching that in any way or damaging it while it's there so as I said our next step is going to be shaving the bottom of this. So we're just using our combination square here and we've got it set just to a millimetre and we're just resting the bridge saddle up against it and we're just marking uh, one millimetre from the bottom and that's all we're going to take off it's as I said it's a minuscule amount it's hardly noticeable but that one millimetre 
of uh, of action uh, means a lot on the guitar. So as the strings drop that one millimetre, it will just feel a lot better and be a lot closer to the specs that we want. So we'll shave that off now. We'll get the guitar re-strung on that and we'll see how things are uh, with the action and if we need to take off more or anything like that. So just to show you closely, if the camera will focus, you might just make out that little small one millimeter line there. And so we're just going to take off that amount of material. So we're just onto a nice flat surface here. And the flat surface in question here is the bed of our uh, planer, which is completely flat. And we're just putting some sandpaper down so it's nice and flat. And we're just taking the end of the uh, saddle and just pressing it backwards and forwards just until we reach that line. We're not going to use anything mechanical or uh, we could use the belt sander or something where we don't want to take off too much. We'd rather just take off a small bit and keep going and adjusting rather than taking off too much and having to make a new saddle or having to shimmer or something ridiculous like that. So we'll just keep going and just taking off very small amounts until we reach that line. So hopefully the camera might focus on this or it may not, but we're just about up to that line. Uh, we don't have gone past it or anything like that. So with the saddle like that we're going to reinstall it into the guitar and we're going to restring and just see how uh, things are with the action now. So we're just going to take this opportunity while we have the uh, strings off. Uh, we're just going to polish the frets and we're just going to clean up the fretboard a bit as well. So we're just using this uh, Dunlop uh, fret polishing system and uh, we'll just give these frets a quick rub and polish and just get them a little bit shinier and then we'll come back and we'll do some work on the fretboard. So that's our frets uh, nicely polished and um, you can see what dirt came off them. So we'll uh, move on next and we'll just uh, condition the fingerboard. So we're just going to oil the fretboard now and we're just using Crimson Guitars uh, fretboard uh, restorative. So let's give this a quick shake. And we're just popping some onto a paper towel and just rubbing it into the uh, fretboard. And I'll already start to see that's uh, coming up quite nicely. So we'll just continue on. So that's our frets polished and our fingerboard has been oiled. It's just easier to do that while we have the strings off. So what we're going to do now is refit a new set of strings and we'll just do all our adjustments then. We'll check our string height, our relief and that kind of thing and see how things are and see if we need to do any more adjustments. So we've got our new strings on and we're about vaguely tuned to pitch so I'll just again try and take you in here to show you roughly uh, where we're at so hopefully we can get the camera to focus now I don't know if you remember before at the 12th fret we were touching three and a half we're now just in and around two and a half it's hard to get you right down to the level to see but we're literally just a smidgen above two and a quarter and two and a half on the base side here and again this will probably be impossible to see but on the treble side there we're just hovering around two and a quarter so that's exactly where we want to be so luckily enough that means the small amount that we did take off the uh, bridge saddle there was exactly the right amount um, and we haven't changed the brake angle here or anything like that so the guitar is sounding fine and um, we don't need to adjust the height anymore um, now we will be uh, doing all our measurements properly with the guitar in the playing position uh, just to doubly make sure and um, so we're just going to nip off our string ends here and then we're just going to do a quick uh, check of the tuning uh, the action at the nut our 12th uh, fret action again and what the neck relief is like as well so we'll just bring you back briefly for that and um, so we've just got the instrument in tune and we've stretched the strings out and so it's sounding pretty good. So we're just going to do a quick check on what the uh, neck relief is like. And so we're just putting a capo on at the first fret. And we're just holding the top string down where the neck joins the body. 
and we're just using a feeler gauge here and we're just checking that there is just that slight gap underneath the string uh, just down here around the 7th and 8th frets and we've got yeah just the perfect amount there so that means we don't need to adjust the truss rod or do anything there so we'll just do a quick check on what our uh, string action is at the nut here and the quickest way to do this is just to put your finger down on the third fret and just press down then on the fourth fret and there should be just a tiny little amount of space for the string to uh, press down and we can just go along all the strings there and we can see you can just about hear it there that there is just a very very small amount of space there and just uh, from a playing point of view it feels fine as well it's nice and low uh, low enough without causing buzzes or anything like that so that's pretty much uh, uh, our neck relief checked and our uh, string height at the uh, nut so we just do our last check is again just to check what our string height is like uh, in the playing position and the reason we do it in the playing position is because when you've got the guitar line flat it might seem like much but just gravity the strings will lie ever so slightly uh, further down just because gravity pressing down on them so that's why we check our uh, string height uh, in the playing position and on the um, on the bass side here we're just hovering above uh, two and a half mil and on the treble side we're just at two and a quarter so that's absolutely perfect uh, just where we want it and <laughs> It feels a lot nicer to play up here in the higher frets. So, that's all good. So we're just giving the guitar uh, one little polish here, uh, just to finish off, just to take some of the a few little minor marks, just you know, grime and stuff, and fingerprints and stuff build up over time. And this is just a quick wipe to just take away some of those. And again, we're just using a uh, Crimson Guitars fretboard and a finish cleaner. So they might be coming out, but just here, as I said, there were some little bits of grime and little fingerprints and stuff. They're all disappearing now. That's our Forsh uh, D24 SR left handed and um, as you've seen we did all our work down here on the saddle we took it down by about a mil or so and we've dropped the action down in total um, about a mil or so as well uh, so playing a lot nicer up here on the higher frets um, new set of strings on and we've cleaned the fretboard and polished the frets and she's sounding rather lovely and she plays quite nicely too so that's our first uh, D24.